Hey guys, this is Scott from Legion Gaming and today I'm going to be taking you through a Minecraft tutorial on how to build a self-cooking beef farm. Now, I chose to make it out of these materials because it's easier to make on survival mode because I've watched a lot of YouTube videos recently and they've used spawners which you can't get in survival mode so you can actually make this when playing survival. So if I just show you how it works We have a lever here, which when pressed, cows should fall down through holes in the roof, as you see there. There's more holes here. And then they slowly fall down the water, which acts as like a conveyor belt, towards the lava, which we have over here. Two cows now, so. And then they get cooked by the lava, and the lava then deposits their cooked meat as you should see arriving now there we are we've got three bits so that can be collected and then shut off so that using, uses pistons at the top and I'll just quickly show you how each of the mechanisms work so the first one is the sort of water conveyor belt with the lava and basically the cow spawn and get taken into the lava which they then get cooked and then all the meat that they give off then gets deposited at the side and you also get a bit of leather which is always good and that can be collected and then here are the pistons that are in the roof to make the cows fall down the hole so if I just turn it on that is when the hole is blocked off at the top and the cows can walk over it and then when the lever is pressed the cows will then fall down the hole now this is not my design it is one that has been created before and i've taken it into my own interpretation and used it for my design okay then so let's start building so the raw material that i used for the majority of mine was this iron um block which can easily be acquired because iron is quite common in minecraft and the actual grid for the house is 16 by 10 so I'll just mark that out and speed it up so we don't waste time okay so the grid is now marked out and the roof of the building is going to be four blocks high so um, we can now use our iron blocks up the side and four blocks high and the iron blocks can then be used as the roof and then we can fill in these other bits as I did with um, these stone slabs and also just the average stone so if I speed up Okay, so there we go, the um, main structure of the building is now done and we can replace the floor with the iron blocks as well, it gives it sort of a laboratory sort of feeling, which is what I was trying to go for. Okay, so that's the main structure of the building done now. So we can now fill in the sides and the windows and the doors. And the doors I used were steel doors and that can be activated by these pressure plates. Which should be somewhere, there we are. Okay, so if we just put the steel doors in. And then pressure plates either side. Also these box look better when we're placed like that. Ok 
Okay. Now, as you can see over there, at the sides, I've used these stone bricks. And then also next to the door. And that just sort of gives it a different design just to make it look a bit better really. So now fill it in with the normal bricks. And we'll add the windows in afterwards. Okay, so now let's add the windows in, which are these blocks here. I think bigger windows look better because it makes it look more open and you can see right inside from the outside. But And you don't have to use these blocks that I'm using, it's entirely up to you because obviously in survival mode the nice stone blocks are hard to make because you have to put it in a furnace which uses up coal obviously so it's entirely up to you what bricks you use I just use these because they make the design look a bit nicer really okay so that's the outline done so now we're going to move on to the pistons on top to make um, the cows drop through the floor so um, our cages will be above and it will start from the edge so um, we're gonna have a two block wide hole first of all and um, we're gonna start five blocks in from the front of the building so that's one two three four five so you want to place a piston on the floor and one next to it and then just behind them you want two pistons that are facing towards them and also two on top of that and then behind them two you want two of the iron blocks and then a but both with redstone repeaters at the back set to the last setting and then also two blocks this side with redstone repeaters facing them on the first setting and the delay then just make sure that once they're fully pushed up then when they're pushed down um, they're the last thing to pull backwards so these get pulled back so that's what the basic looks like so if you just then copy that but then leaving a blocks gap between it so start here and then just do exactly the same as we did before putting the two pistons facing it and then two on top of that and then also have the iron blocks behind it and then two here as well and then the repeaters on here set to the last setting and that's that one made and then once again we just repeat the same process and you can have as many of these as you like I chose three just because it came to a nice number when making the actual building you can have as many as you like and you can also repeat um, the pistons as much as you like so you could have bigger than a two square gap open up but um, for actual space on top of the building I just chose two blocks that would then disappear so just put in the repeaters in again these ones on the last setting okay so once that's done these can all then be linked up and make sure just to leave a gap so that it doesn't go next to the pistons because that can mess it up and then there we are it's also best as well just to put a repeater in here just to make sure that the um, connection actually will reach because I don't think it would without okay now we need to connect it up um, to a lever 
on the floor before um, so that it can be switched on from downstairs. Okay, so let's link it up um, with a lever and um, this will then link up in the corner of the building just here. So if we go downstairs and then so basically it will reach here and we want it about um, two blocks off the ground so that's about body height so that it just looks better when you compress it so and it's also going to be two blocks from the edge so if we just link our redstone up to the top and then put our lever which will then be on there if we just fly up here then so just put in another repeat just here okay so let's see if it works when the lever is pressed the pistons should now all be up yep and then if we just go turn them off they should all return to the position they were before yep so that all works fine so now if we just cover up um, the redstone we put in just to make it look a bit better there we are and then this space is used for the shoot so it doesn't matter at the moment in time okay so just to recap basically um, the redstone comes through here and then this is set on its last setting and um, that ensures that when you pull it down um, the repeaters are the last things to pull across so we can now put our blocks on which the blocks at the top of the building is grass so if you get your grass block now it doesn't have to be grass but I just think it looks better because you're using animals so grass suits it really and then once that is done we can now fill in this whole area so that it can't be seen so it's easier if you leave the lever on just so that you can see where the floor level is going to be and then fill it all in so if we stick with the same pattern as before so it needs to be three high this time yep and then we'll just fill it all in and also just a word of advice um, if we just quickly turn the levers off just to make it look a bit better um, when the cows were to fall down the hole you can then just surround the area in two blocks high just so that it basically covers it up makes it look a little bit better There we are, and then we can now also delete the holes that the cows will then fall through to. And then once again, just fill the top with grass. Okay, so that is now covered up. So if we now just check again by turning the lever on, the hole should now be covered up. There we are. Okay, so now once again, just fill in the edges using the same blocks.
and just a wise word before we finish it off it's best um, to put torches in there because obviously any zombies or skeletons can, or cre even creepers could spawn in there so it's best just to put some torches up just to make sure that doesn't happen there we are and now we can fill that in and that is now done so now if we build the cage on top as you see here and this whole cage is made of fences which does actually work well as a cage so if we get the fences out and the gates then just to make it a bit safer I just put fences all the way around the edge just to ensure that when you're up here you don't fall off okay so now we need to make the cages um, so the fences for the cage stretch six blocks leaving a gap of two blocks here so if we start from here and that then goes across two blocks and then join it up to the edge and then that comes across another two blocks and then that joins to the back and then the same with this one so that then makes three cages okay now we need to build up the edges three blocks high so the roof is on the third block right, got carried away there didn't realize I went past it okay so once the edges are then built up these bits need to do as well now I know building with fences can be a bit temperamental because they are a little bit awkward to build with but that's the only thing that you can really use for a cage sort of thing so and they work well anyway so then once that is done the roof can then be put on now the more cows you have in these pens and the more chance there is that they'll fall down the hole so I realise sometimes they don't always fall down so you just have to wait for a bit and hope that they're then falling so if we then put the fence doors in so then when you lure them you can keep them in and there we go so that is the cage complete so we now just need to build some stairs up the side so they can easily be reached now stone block stairs are the best for this sort of thing seeing as they suit our design so starting from one block in and just pile them to the side and then have one block as like a landing block right there okay and then also I just place one block by the side of each and then just fill it in so that it doesn't look quite that bad now you don't have to make stairs like this but this design is just entirely my design but you can use the same mechanism that I use with the lava and the pistons but create your own designs and if you could and then create a um, video answering back to this video then that'd be appreciated and I can see how you interpreted my design and made it yourself so I now just put fences up here to stop you from walking off the edge and also just for added effect as well there we are and you can also place some lights on the stairs just to make it look a bit better so every two on the stairs works out pretty nicely and then on the front just do it one two three four and it doesn't work out exactly but the gap doesn't notice that much 
area. And you can add in however many you like, but that'll do for now. Right, so that's the stairs done and the majority of the top done. So now we just need to create the interior. So first of all, we need to create the lava area. Now, lava um, flows across floor, four blocks and then um, that's the length that it travels. So we need three and then just make sure that the lava can't flow out to the side and then a trick that I've learned is that with water and lava if there's a sign then um, it will stop it from flowing and also the um, lava will flow on top of it which is responsible for why the lava um, overhangs which is then good um, to cook the cow so if I just get some lava there we are and I'll just show you how that works so if we drop lava here yeah you will see that the um, sign makes sure that it doesn't flow over but also it just rests on top of it so then the cow will come along and get cooked but then the meat itself won't get destroyed by the lava and that can then lead off to the side here where it can be collected now you can leave it how it is but I tend to like having the same blocks for them all so we'll just replace them just to make it all look the same there we are and it can be collected here and then the same with the um, water flow it um, needs to be able to flow along four blocks and then drop down and this is so that the water will then flow across here drop down and then will flow to the edge but then will not go over um, and then with that we then need to add in some wood inside just to make it look a bit different And we have to have it four blocks wide so that the holes aren't covered up which is a mistake I made when building it for the first time and also we need to make sure that we don't put wood here because it can burn down even though it's not touching the lava it's a block next to it so the lava can spread to it and burn it down which isn't good okay now it doesn't really matter how you make the design inside but it's always nice to make it look sort of similar so yep and then that makes sure that we can have a door in the middle now when placing the wooden door in you might have realized it was the wrong way around and looked a bit weird but if you were to have the door like this then as the cows are coming down they can get stuck in the doorway so that's why the door has to be this way around so that it doesn't stop the cows from going through it does look a bit odd though and then we can fill these windows in there we are right so actually I think it would look better if there was yeah that looks better okay so now we can add the water in so get the bucket of water and we need a current flowing this way to then take all the cooked meat out towards you and then make sure the water then flows and then you should find that it then flows and stops just on the edge and then that will bring the cows down and then they'll get cooked and that will take it down there right so that's that bit done 
and then you can also put a chest in here just to capture any of your meat and then store it just put that over there ready to store the meat okay so all that's done you can also add in what I did over there some flowers just to make it maybe look a bit nicer but now it's time to add cows now for the sake of the video just to speed it up I'm going to spawn them using a cow egg but um, in survival mode what you would do is you would get some wheat and then you would go and find a cow and the cows would then be attracted to the wheat and then they'll then follow you back and you would take them into here and then they'll follow you in and then you just walk out for the moment I'll just put in my own number of cows four in each should be just fine for now now I apologize for the sound of cows because I do know that they can get really really annoying so I'll move away from that now and that is it complete now we'll just test and see if it works so if we go in here let's see what happens yep one cow falls down should now get taken towards here oh we've got another cow as well so we can now shut that off they then get cooked meat falls down and then we have lots of cooked meat and that can then be picked up oh even another cow fell down so that's now three cows however cows do not always drop stuff so you will get the old cow like that that doesn't have any which is unfortunate but that's how it happens I'm afraid that is the self cooking beef farm done and what I'd recommend is as I've got over here I've actually got a wheat farm next to it um, so that I can keep continuously breeding cows um, and luring the cows with the wheat because it gets used up each time and so you've got unlimited supply of that so you can keep breeding your cows so just press the lever and that harvests it now um, if any of you want to know how I made this self harvesting wheat farm then just post in the comments below and ask me to do a tutorial and I'll be more than happy to and that is our wheat farm complete obviously you yourself can put in some little additions to make it look a bit better like I did with the flowers maybe add some more windows but as for the basics that is it done so um, if any of you have any questions then just post any questions or if you have any requests for any more tutorials you'd like to see then just comment below so if you just um, like comment and subscribe to us and then leave any of your suggestions for more videos and be sure to check out our avatar building series we're building the home tree from avatar we'll also be doing more building videos so stay tuned for more videos <laughs>